the prospects for a successful third Open Day at Wester Pixton on Sunday the 4th of August were not good. The weather forecast was poor with thunderstorms and heavy rain forecast during the day, but we still ran anyway. If the weather was going to be bad, then a potential source of shelter was unavailable to us as the Perth Model Railway Group's new building was closed due to work in progress. As usual, the station was a centre of all the activity with passengers coming down to ride a choice of three steam trains or one electric. All the trains running were seven and a quarter gauge to give us the power we need to pull passenger trains. There was always activity in the station as steam trains, when they arrive back from hauling passengers, need to be topped up with water. However, due to the number of passengers, the trains didn't have to wait long as there was always a constant supply of new people to ride around the track. Once the passengers had boarded the train, Trevor the station master gave them the choice of one of two routes, either going via the tunnel route or via the bridge route. Once it was decided by the passengers which route they were going to take, a demand was made to the signal box and the signal set accordingly. Trains taking the tunnel route were given a green light to go straight on, whereas trains that were going to go across the bridge were given a green light with a white feather indicating that they would be taking the left-hand track out of the station. We only had one steam lorry running during the day, taking passengers through the woods to Ducks End Station and then back again. Over 90 passengers were carried, which is remarkable when you consider that the, the wagon only carries about six passengers. Inside the main shed, visitors could view static displays and make purchases from a trade stand selling toys and kits. Perth Model Railway Group had their exhibition layout Albury on display. Here, Stan Moog from the group describes the layout and its history. Albury is a double old gauge layout which uh, represents a western region terminus station. So typically uh, ex Great Western Railway. If you look at the architecture of the station and in fact that most of the rolling stock we have on the layout this weekend, you will detect a very, very western region theme. So um, the, the layout is um, digital uh, command control, uh, commonly called DCC. And this enables us to run um, locomotives with them um, sound fitted. So this adds a certain atmosphere to, to the layout as well. And the uh, layout was built a number of, of years ago, not by us actually, but we, we purchased the uh, layout and did a big conversion job, refurbished it and, and turned it from analog control to digital control. This gave the layout a new lease of life and since then we've had them, um, we've, we've shown the layout all over the uh, country and also had it featured in a couple of magazines. So uh, it just shows what can be done to breathe new life into a layout. We're very pleased with the layout and in fact it, it draws crowds and is very popular as a discussion point. Uh, today we've had lots of people asking questions on how we built the layout and how we control it and it's really useful to be able to demonstrate the technical side on what is quite a small layout. Considering the weather forecast and conditions not far from Wester Pixton, 
The open day was a huge success and enjoyed by all the people that came to visit. Make a note in your diary for the last open day of the year which takes place on Sunday the 25th of August and let's hope we get a better weather forecast. If you would like to watch a video of an open day when the conditions were really great then check out the Easter Day event. Thanks for watching, hope to see you soon.